Head over to miniaturemarket.com. They have thousands of board games at discounted prices like Azul Mini. Hello, my friends. It's the Game Boy Geek here, and the summer's coming up, and people are going to be traveling everywhere. So why not talk about a travel version of a popular game that's just coming out now, Azul Mini. Now, I'm not going to tell you how to play Azul. I've already done that in another video. If you want to learn how to play Azul, you can click the link below or the little... Uh, there'll be a little eye up there on the corner. You'll be able to click and see that. This is going to be showing you what's different about this travel version, the different features that make it a good travel version, and I will be comparing the size of this with a measuring tape to the original one so you can see, can it fit where you're planning on taking this this summer? Now, I'm not going to show you how to play Azul. I already have a video for that. It's linked up there in the corner or in the, in the description of the video. You can see how to play Azul. This is just going to be showing off the travel mini version. Now, it does come in this little box, but inside of this box is this really nice carry case. After you have everything in here, you can really just throw this box away because it has some like nice straps, so you can just sort of carry it like this. And again, everything sits in here and it has a nice little snap in here. It keeps everything in there. So you can literally just take it out of the box, put everything in here, and toss the box if you want. That's how, I, that's what I did. Now here are the boards of this. Now there is a plastic top to this, which is really good because you're going to be traveling and moving around and it has this thing where you're using this to get the score and it kind of like clicks into place a little bit. 10, 20, 30, six. And it's excellent because you can be moving around all around and it doesn't matter. It's not going to move. So I love this. Another thing that you can probably see is that this has like some bubbles on here. And that's because all of the tiles on the back side are concave like this. And they actually fit right in here like this. And again, they're not going to move as you're in the car playing this or on a plane or in a small spot. You go like this. Look at this. You can move this thing around. And it's not moving. It's awesome. So you go like this. You know, at the end of the round, you're moving these over here. Boom, like that. So the boards are great. And if you flip this over, you'll see it has the advanced side of the board without the colors, just like the real game. You could basically just take this cardboard out, flip it over, put it in there, and then you could have the, you know, play the, the more advanced game on the, you know, the side that keeps everything in, t in check. Now there's also a little tray where the factories go. These are the little things that hold the, uh, you know, the, the, the the, the tiles there. And again, it holds all of them. But of course, if you play with less than four players, you don't need that many in there. But again, you can move this around and this thing is not moving out. So this is another awesome thing. You can put it on a, on a tray table or on an airplane or whatever, and it's not going to move around. So how big are these little boards? Well, below this, I have the standard Azul boards. I actually have the expansion that has the little plastic inlay on there. But look at that. You can see how much smaller it is if I just do it that way. Or if I put it in the corner, you could see it like this. So let's take a look here. Now this is in the corner. So the board is seven and a half long, where the other one is about nine and a half. So it's about two inches shorter this way. And here uh, it is, let's go this way like this. It is six inches tall. And the other one is just almost 10. So it's almost four inches smaller in that direction. Now, just to show you the factories now, I have five of them. They are overhanging this a little bit, but you can almost fit a two-player game of five of these in the same space that you could fit this with all nine for a four-player. And of course, if you're just doing five, it'd be a lot smaller there. But if we're looking at size, the standard ones are three inches and the other ones are about an inch. Uh, it's like an inch and three quarters. So definitely a, a big difference there. And here is the standard Azul versus the little Azul, the little mini there. As you can see, it's definitely, uh, you know, different size. It's definitely a little bit smaller. This, uh, you know, the original Azul was just shy, about three quarters of an inch, where this is basically half an inch. So a little bit smaller there. Obviously, uh, you know, this has the concave back where this does not. And, you know, this is definitely lighter than this, but for the size, it doesn't feel like cheap. Now, many of you may have seen that recently I've started taking trips. I had a van that was a shell of a van that was converted into a full on camper that I've been taking this to gaming events around. I've been gaming in this van. I've actually even played Azul two player. I can fit the two player Azul on this table here. However, if I'm going to play Azul mini, I could actually easily fit a four player game on this table. And with the way the table works, I can actually have four people in here playing Azul, where before I can only have two of them because it's all it could fit on this table. And it, these do actually fit on airplane trays as well. So that's a pretty much, it's great for me. It's great for when you're traveling. 
Uh, it's great for the summer coming up here. That's a Zool Mini. Now, before I get into my final thoughts, I just wanted to tell you about how you can protect yourself and your family online with Aura, who is sponsoring these final thoughts. Now, there's a lot of different ways to protect yourself online, but Aura brings all of these to you in one place. They feature a virtual private network known as a VPN, a password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitoring, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. And you can try a two-week free trial to take advantage of all those services, as well as seeing how many data brokers are selling your personal information online and that they'll resolve on your behalf. And you can do this by scanning the QR code right here on the screen or by going to aura.com slash gameboygeek and aura is A-U-R-A. All right, so Zoom Mini, what I like about it. Love, love, love the carrying bag. I love that I could just throw that stupid little box away. It's great for hanging in the store and seeing it, but throw it away, you got that nice carry bag. It acts as to the tile holder, the board holder, the rules holder, and everything's in there. I like that it has a little snap that snaps it shut, but it's also can be put right over your shoulder or you can just hold it. Brilliant, I love it. I've already thrown my box away. This thing's great. Uh, I love that the score tabs don't budge by accident. The plastic overlay on this is great. It's thicker than what you'd see in the expansion one that I showed you. It's just great. I mean, you need that in a travel game, right? So like if you're shaking around while you're playing while you're driving or you're playing on an airplane, that thing is not gonna move if you budge and that's fantastic. That's what you want in a travel version of a game and match with that with those concave tiles. Beautiful. It works great. You saw me. I was shaking that thing around and those tiles don't budge. That's what you need in a game like this when you're going to be making a travel version. They knocked it out of the park here component-wise for sure. I love that you can still play with the advanced board. You just have to poke the uh, cardboard out, flip it over, put it in there. That works too. I'm glad that they figured they, that they did that. I, was, you know, I assumed they would, but I'm glad that they did. I liked it as a great sort of impulse price point. MSRP is $20 on this, which I think a lot of people are just going to buy it just because it's, hey, it's a travel game. It's, it's that cheap. And they're going to realize, hey, this is actually a really good game. Uh, I think it's a great way for people to try Azul for less money. If you've always heard about Azul and you're always like, yeah, it looks cool. I don't know. People say it's great. It doesn't look like anything special or whatever. But this allows you to be like, now, oh, what's 20 bucks? You know, it's an impulse buy. I'll buy this. I'll play the small version. And if I like it and I like it enough, I'll buy the big version for home. I think that's a cool lower barrier of entry to get into Azul if you're not sure if you'll like it. I like that the factory tiles can even lay flat in that tray like I showed you. It won't even move. Uh, and you can play basically a four-player game in a two-player space from the original. Uh, it's a great way to play on the go. Uh, obviously the only downside is it doesn't have quite the same tactile feel of feeling those bigger weightier tiles. Although I will say that the tiles that come in here are a little more weighty than I thought they'd be, even though like they're a lot smaller and half of it's gone because it's concave. But overall, I think they knocked it out of the park here because again, the components and the way that they designed this is the biggest part because you don't just want a smaller version of the same game. You want a smaller version of the game that you can actually travel with, which you can because easy carrying around and you can play it in weird spots that move around and it won't mess things up and it does that. I think they knocked us out of the park. If you want a smaller travel version of Zool or get into it cheaper, this is definitely the way to go. This has been the Game Boy Geek. Breaking down barriers, growing relationships with board games, may help you find the next one you love. Game Toppers not only transforms your existing table into a high quality gaming solution, but they now offer full leg kits and dining cover solutions for the full table application. Paired with over 20 styles of thematic game mats in 11 different sizes from notable board game artists like Vincent Dutre, collapsible cup holders, and real cool accessories, experience what thousands of other gamers enjoy by upgrading every game you play with a Game Topper system. Save hundreds of dollars on Game Topper package deals that are in stock now for immediate shipping at GameToppersLLC.com or click the link below.